mindful in the future, maybe. Anyway, um, hello everybody, good to see you all. William and let's get the names out. William, Rene, and I got Paola, I think, and I got Alta. Thanks again, Alta, for bringing these new folk here. I got Toe, and I've got um, also got here Vent as well. But thanks very much for joining us. So, folks, welcome to the well, it's called the men's group, uh, but pretty open to attendance. And um, we are we generally talk about um, well, kind of well-being related things. It's really a kind of our, our main topic. And so we share kind of like with each other through conversation. Hello, new joiner. Who's out there? Danky, oh my god. You do look strange, my friend. It's been quite a while since I've seen you and you do look very different. <laughs> Take a seat, please. This is my good friend, Danky, from Greece. <laughs> Take a seat, my buddy. Put your voice on if you can do. One moment, please. This is one of the people who got quite upset about that, um, that little situation we had. Uh, just TP that person back who got a bit upset by that situation. Can happen. Hopefully, Dash will join us again. Hi, Danky. Do you want to use your voice today? So, where was I? Okay. I was just saying that well hey you got some new joiners welcome um gaily so take a seat so our men's group's been going for a few weeks now and we talk about various topics and we've done things like emotional resilience trust expression of emotions we talked about anger management as well we did anger management one week um and we also keep the topics fairly open for people to join join them as well, and uh, uh, not too sort of formally fixed on things. General topic for today is uh, mindfulness, which I'll, I'll talk about shortly with. And for mindfulness, we'll just talk a bit about what mindfulness is and how it helps us. And also work with some um, specific audio stream files, which you can listen to and, and take part in the practice of it. Uh, our group, Mystic Academy, here, we are, our kind of motto is one light, many paths. We don't prescribe to any particular religion or spirituality or particular pathway as such. But we're kind of very much more about inclusion and people meeting together under shared topics of interest. On the sim here, you'll find things like we've got a story circle next to me here. We've got a beach out the front over here, which is where we do some of our kind of social events. And we do things like tarot readings. Uh, we do like every Friday we have a kind of a different topic. Um, we have a library at the back, which is where we've got a lot of our books. And we're kind of building our collection back. We had a very big library before. We're just building it back up again. And we only recently moved to this sim from another place not long ago. So that's a bit about me. I'm Dragon. I'm the founder of Mystic Academy with my partner, Venus. And we both run the show here. Um, she might be joining us a bit later on. Um, and uh, we've also got in the team a um, member of the library, also called Aramis, who's just joined us recently. So I'd like to ask you folks um, a bit about yourselves. Can you maybe give a little bit of an introduction to yourself? Uh, what kind of things do we put in the icebreaker? Um, something like, um, how about you say you know who you are, um, where you're from maybe, and kind of what, what interests you in coming to today's session. Maybe it was the mindfulness tag, or maybe it said men's group. Something about the session that brought you today. Maybe tell us a bit about what brought you here today. In text or voice is fine. Welcome, Cheetah Wolf. No problem, Danky. Sorry, sorry, I am, mate. I can't, I can't respond, and my hands are kind of like busy with typing away here. But yeah, please come back. Hey, Cheetah, welcome. So, just the introduction, please. Just so everyone gets to know each other around here. It's helpful. 
No, fine, Cheetah Wolf. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I know Discord the games thing. Uh, yeah, please use chat as as you like. Really, it's cool with me. Sure. Yes, please, William. If we're going to go around in, in order, maybe we can go around in circle. How about you, William? That's probably better, isn't it? Yeah, go for it, William. Yes, Dash, what I can do a favour. Just I am me about it. Chat over here. Great, so William is a. Let's get some of the intros from here. So, first one is William, yes, um, American from Virginia, lived in California most of your life, a uh, Christian and a dash of Buddhist, and you're a retired lawyer. Thank you for that. Well, Cheetah Wolf, we're just having a, a really a hangout, really. And it's just about, we're going to talk about mindfulness and general well-being. So I'm just going to go around getting introductions from people. So the next one along, Kamal, can you give us an introduction? And while you're doing that, perhaps if you can get the person next along, the uh, the White Armoury. Sophie, is that, is that right, Ayola? If you can maybe give an introduction too. I think if folks were to type out in any in any order, it probably be better. Um, then I can just pick that up. It's just nice to know who's here. Maybe Rene, if you could, you know, you're the next in the line there. Rene, could you maybe do that? Give us a little introduction about yourself. You could do it in voice, by the way. Thank you, Dash. You're, you're 25, I think that is, American. You're Muslim and you're in the LGBTQ community. Thank you. Very welcome. Sure thing, Cheetah. Maybe some Ms. Folk are AFK, I can't quite tell, you know. Hope you're all catching up with me. So I'll ask you for an introduction. That would be great if you could do that. Um, just a brief one. A bit of crash out there, I think. Okay, well, um, let me... No problem at all. Let me get started. Okay, and I'll start the content section now. So we're going to talk about mindfulness today, and I've got some stuff I've prepared for this. So we're going to work with my resources.
Okay. No problem, Shootable. So, let's start with some definitions first of all about mindfulness. This is a bit of a buzzword at the moment and it's going around. So, it's really, generally speaking, it's about paying attention more to the present moment, to your own thoughts and feelings, and to the world around you. Some people call this awareness, and some call it mindfulness. Generally, it has now been medically recognised as being a beneficial thing. Um, it was originated out of Buddhist meditation practices, but it was popularised by um, John Kabat-Zinn, who coined a definition for it, which is about being non-judgmentally aware of the present. And certain chemical tri uh, medical trials took place, which showed evidence that mindfulness did indeed reduce symptoms of various um, mental health extreme conditions. And the three big ones are stress well, and anxiety go together, um, mood and depression, and finally sleeping difficulties. Now, if any of you around the circle here um, could share any one of those things that you know you might be experiencing from open air, I mean, I have all three of them <laughs> from time me. to time. Could, yeah. you, could you, excuse me, before you go on, could you repeat the definition again? Of course, yes. Of mindfulness. Yeah, I'll give you the Thank so I'll give you the official one from John Kabat Zinn. That's what yeah, I, 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 yeah. Since it is thrown around so much, yeah, I'd like to know what. That's cool. What you're saying. No problem. I'll give you that definition right now. This is as of his own uh, words. Great. Here it is. So it's called. It's, he says, mindfulness means paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the present moment, and non-judgmentally. I'll repeat that. Paying attention in a particular way, on purpose, in the present moment, and non-judgmentally. So, of the moment of now, for example, we would specifically put our attention to be really very much here and now, where we are, not be anywhere in the past or future. And that's with intention and without judgment. So, yes, that was a good question. Um, yeah, I asked, I asked you all about, you know, your own experiences of, of the things I mentioned. So the three major things that the majority of the world is suffering with at the moment is, you know, anxiety, um, mood-related issues, such as depression, and also sleeping difficulties. Any of you here have any experience with some of these things? Thank you. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> I see. You feel you're much older than your age. Okay. Actually, um, William, I'm referring to more mild to moderate rather than generalised anxiety disorder, which is diagnosed. Um, I think anxiety is more prevalent than, than that. Than what is diagnosis? Sure, um, Cheetah, can you hear me? Writing a message out in main chat. Oh, you can't hear voice either. This is a problem. Could anyone echo out what I'm saying, please, if possible, and to chat while I'm saying it? Is that possible? Could someone in the group do this who's around me today? You too, Danky. Danky, can you hear it all right? As long as you can hear it, we're good. If you can't hear me folks, I'll, I'll switch to using a, a multimodal approach.
Okay, I'll have to use a pretty mixture of both of them. Hmm. Okay. a lot of work, Dragi. You're committed. Appreciate that. Hey, if anyone could, could type as fast as I talk, I would happily have that person right here typing out what I'm saying. It would be much easier. I'll just try and do both. So, those who can read can read this, and I'll certainly say this out too. So, um, mindfulness, this is a kind of a definition again from the Oxford Mindfulness Centre, that it's easy to stop noticing the world around us. It's also easy to lose touch with the way our bodies are feeling and to end up living in our heads, caught up in our thoughts without stopping to notice how those thoughts are driving our emotions and behaviour. An important part of mindfulness is reconnecting with our bodies and the sensations they experience. This means waking up to the sights, sounds, smells and tastes of the present moment. Now that might be something as simple as a feel of a banister as we walk upstairs, um, or any kind of sensation that you would feel, so you know, in the moment of now, however you're sitting, if you're drinking something or eating something, or you're kind of conscious of how your, your sitting position is, um, it's just connecting with that what's around you, which we don't often do. And we're often largely in our heads a lot of the time. So this awareness of you know what's around us also applies to what's in us. So it's also us being aware of how we're feeling, how we're thinking, and what's happening moment to moment. So allowing ourselves to see the present moment clearly, and when we can do that, it can positively change the way we see ourselves in our lives. And it's something also we practice over time. I'll have an audio stream to play very shortly, okay, which you'll listen to. This audio stream lasts about eight minutes. It's a mindfulness practice. So you need to make sure your stream is working for that. Yeah? Now, how does mindfulness actually help us? Here's some text now from one of these resources I'll share with you. I'm going to read out, paraphrase some of this stuff here. Here's um, how mindfulness helps mental well-being. So becoming more aware of the present moment can help us enjoy the world around us and understand ourselves better. When we become more aware of the present moment, we begin to experience fresh things that we take for granted. It also allows us to become more aware of the stream of thoughts and feelings that we experience, to see how we can become entangled in the stream in ways that are not helpful. So for example, negative thought patterns that are repeating. So being able to stand back from our thoughts and start to see the patterns, gradually we can train ourselves to notice when our thoughts are taken over and realise that thoughts are in themselves simply mental events that do not have to actually control us in our lives. And most of us have issues that we find hard to let go and mindfulness can help us deal with them more productively. So being caught up in one's thoughts and them spiralling around, mindfulness gives us an opportunity to step back also means being aware of anxiety and stress earlier and being able to deal with them better and quicker than before they can take hold and grip us into sort of like you know, acting out or being stressed. There's some very simple things about how to be more mindful, just some things I'll, sh I'll share with you. So a few tips here and then I'll start the audio stream. So here's a, a few things about how to be more mindful. One is about reminding yourself to take note. Well, three about reminding yourself to take notice of your thoughts, feelings, body sensations, and the world around you is the first step to mindfulness. Reminding yourself to do so. Notice the everyday. Even as we go about our daily lives, we can notice the sensations of things: the food we eat, the air moving past the body as we walk. 
All these things might, might sound quite small, but it's a huge power to interrupt the autopilot mode we often engage in day to day and to give us new perspectives on life. Keep it regular. It can be helpful to pick a regular time, the morning journey to walk or a walk at lunchtime, during which you can decide to be aware of the sensations created by the world around you. Try something new. Try new things such as sitting in a different seat in meetings or going somewhere new for lunch can also help you notice the world in a new way from a different perspective. What's your thoughts? Some people find it very difficult to practice mindfulness. As soon as they stop doing what stop what they're doing, lots of thoughts and worries crowd in. But again, this is something that does improve over time with practice. So mindfulness is not about making these thoughts go away. Okay, it's not about just making getting rid of them as such. What it's really about is about seeing them as mental events. Okay, events that occur in a mental stream. So it's like a little analogy given here. Imagine standing at a bus station and seeing thought buses. Thought buses, like red buses going past, but they're all thought buses that are coming and going without having to get on them and be taken away by those buses to where they're going. This can be very hard at first, seeing these buses turning up at the bus station of your mind, um, but with gentle persistence, it is possible and becomes easier over time. So what we'd like to do now is um, just a few minutes to reflect on those points. If you've got any comments, and what I'm gonna do, please echo out any comments in the main chat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to activate the audio stream shortly and play the first meditation. I actually have a Tibetan bell with me and I will use that Tibetan bell today actually, if I can find it, where do I put it? Give me just a moment, folks. I'll let you chat in main for a little while. Okay, right here. <clears throat> Got my stuff. Great, okay, so I'm back again. So I've got a Tibetan bell, which will be helpful. So what will happen is, first of all, I want to make sure my stream is working. Let's get that up there. Right. 